And right now, people are preparing for next week's big solar eclipse. It's going to be exciting, and we're going to have a partial view here in South Florida. And there are some things you have to do, though, to make sure you're viewing this safely. Look at Syra Onward is joining us. She's live right now from Hatlandale Beach with the very latest Syra. And Christy, this is such a unique event happening next week. This doesn't happen every day, every week, every year. In fact, after next Monday, we're not going to see an eclipse like this again for another 20 years. So I'm going to make sure you know when you can see it, where you can view it from and how to do it safely. It's just fun to be around that people all looking at a really cool scientific event. Frost Museum President Dr. Douglas Roberts, who is also an astrophysicist, will soon be on his way to Texas to view next Monday's solar eclipse from the path of totality and show it to museum visitors. For four minutes or so, I'll see the moon completely covering the sun, which is the most spectacular thing to see. Here in South Florida, things will look a little different. Here in Miami, we'll see what's called a partial eclipse. So in that case, the, it kind of grazes the sun. So at its maximum, around 3 o'clock Monday afternoon, if you're here in Miami, you'll see about 40% of the sun being covered by the moon. Still a rare and splendid sight to see. Honestly, it's so fun to, to look at how uh, the sun with a, with, a, with a moon in front of it looks like a crescent. The last time we saw a solar eclipse was back in 2017. Dr. Robert says this year the moon is slightly closer to the Earth and the eclipse will be visible a little longer. The Frost Museum has events and activities throughout the weekend leading up to the eclipse and the day of on Monday. But remember, you should never look at an eclipse with the naked eye. Use special viewing glasses or a pinhole camera. If you come the day of on Monday, you can get a pair of eclipse glasses for free when you come here. And that's not your only option. Public libraries in Miami-Dade and Broward counties are hosting events and giving away eclipse glasses. At Broward Libraries, all you need is your library card. Once you are a card holder of Broward County Libraries, once you have a current card, you can visit any branch with your physical library card and that will give you access to one of the glasses. You can even use the Broward County app. You can just visit any library location as well and present that virtual card and you will be able to get a glasses. So again, after next Monday, we are not going to see a solar eclipse like this for another 20 years. But a fun fact about that one, South Florida is expected to be in that path of totality. So go ahead and mark your calendars 20 years early. We're live from Hallandale <laughs> Beach, Sarah Onwer, Local 10 News.